hello guys um welcome to my new series it's called um introduction to improvisation now the first thing we're gonna do is to just get through some groundwork some basics you know because people are in a rush to play all this fancy stuff that they do not understand and if you play something that you do not understand you cannot take it further you cannot improve upon it all you can do is repeat it like a parrot now i'm not in the business of creating parrots right i am in the business of creating good musicians you know musicians who can think on their feet musicians who can develop their own sound that is very essential in the times we live in because there's a lot of me too's man you listen to hip-hop everyone wants to sound the same you listen to my piano everyone wants to sound the same you listen to gospel music everyone wants to sound the same understand individuality is not really encouraged or or, or or looked goodly upon these days you know people are not brave enough to step out and say hey this is me this is how i do it and that's how you're supposed to do it i like what's happening in the states man because what's happening in the states a lot of time is that you're not gonna survive being a copycat you know well from i've never been to the states i'm just talking from what i'm looking at here you know if 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 i try there and try be like a a a, a, a jamie well, who's this guy um pianist man um forgot his name man uh brian carbertson right there's tons of people in the states already trying to be by brian carbertson if i'm gonna come as a south african sounding like that guy and you know looking for a record deal whatever it's like dude it's okay we already have enough people like that where's your sound you understand and you develop your sound through your influences and through your own interpretation of music this is what i'm trying to achieve you know if only people could get what i'm trying to achieve and then it would be so much easier and this is why i insist on teaching people music theory because i want you to understand music for yourself and be able to extrapolate or rather how can i say take it further all right it's simply what it is okay so this is why i insist on teaching stuff from the ground going up i hope you guys get where i'm coming from my intentions are strictly honorable i'd like to think anyway if you have any hope of improvising you need to know your scales you need to know your modes right and you need to know them in all keys because what people don't understand about music is that you might see a song in one key but that song can move in and out of keys to create some really interesting stuff right like if i go here two three four right i'm only playing white notes so i'm in the key of c right right if i go let me borrow a chord from c sharp So you, <laughs> you guys are transposing and playing one key. You know, you can only get away with so much. I can tell you now, you can only get away with so much. All right. You need to know all your keys. You need to know all your scales and all your keys. When I was a first year student, varsity, I remember I had to learn 12 scales, more or less in a space of six months in all keys that's about 144 different patterns that i had to know for my exam and scales were only five to ten percent of my exam you think i'm hard on you you want to go and study formally and see how tough those guys are they don't play around you know and i don't even think that i put in as much work as i should have or could have in in in, in tertiary because we had like 12 subjects man and piano was just one of them so you had a ton of theory to get through and all the stuff so we didn't really get 
the kind of work, you know, this is why I'm still trying to push myself because I don't feel I worked hard enough, you know, in, in, in varsity for a variety of reasons. You know, not having a decent piano at home, blah, 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 all those things. Yeah, man. So, but anyway, let's get to it. We are going to differentiate between a scale and a mode. Okay, we're going to start with a scale. The word scale comes from the word, for, from the Latin word scala, which means letter. So, it, a letter, which means that you're walking up and coming back down. <laughs> to brush up on my blues um <laughs> chops no worries so this is what's happening right we're gonna take a simple scale uh, scale c major scale right as you can see i'm going up and then coming back down scale the ladder scala latin right now, to ensure that your hands get the same amount of treatment or exercise, you want to do it in your left hand as well, you know? Yeah, please forgive my camera, man. I'm using a really cheap camera. You know, since the COVID struck, all electronics, especially things like webcams that went up double in price, so the webcam I shouldn't be using now is costing a fortune and as you know musicians aren't really making money at the moment so please bear with me okay i'm not yet teaching scales i'm just differentiating between scales and modes so the c major scale moves from c to c right that's a scale but now once we have our scale we can derive what we call modes right and modes are simply us starting the scale from a different point than we originally would. So if we start, that's the first mode of the major scale. But if I play from, that was C to C. If I play from D to D, oh. if I play from D to D, right, it's got a different name. Yes, it's still using the same notes of the major scale, but it's got a different name. If I play from E to E, it's got a different name, but it's still the same white notes. Because remember, when you're playing the white notes, you're playing all the notes of the C major scale. You see? So let us discuss the modes of the C major scale. Okay? The first mode is our Ionian mode. It's where you move from the first note to the first note. That is moving from C to C. Ionian. Ionian scale is the same as major scale. Same thing. Right? You're moving from the first note of the scale to the first note. Now, our second scale will be moved from D to D. And that is from the second note of the major scale to the second note of the major scale. Is the Dorian scale. Right? And it's a type of a minor scale as well. Okay? And then when we move from E to E, which is moving from note 3 to note 3, that is our Phrygian scale, I believe. Right? It's our Phrygian scale. If we move from note F to note F, or from the fourth note to the fourth note, that is a Lydian scale. Right? That is our Lydian scale. F Lydian scale. If we move from G to G or from note 5 to note 5, we have our Mixolydian scale. Right? That's our Mixolydian scale. If we move from note 6 to note 6 or we move from A to A, that is our Aeolian scale. Right. Lastly, if we move from note B to note B or from the note 7 to note 7, that would be our Locrian scale. Right? So that's how it goes, more or less. Okay? Those are the seven modes 
of the major scale, right? Ionian, you move from one to one. Thorian, you move from node two to node two. Phrygian, you move from node three to node three. Um, Lydian, you move from node four to node four. Mixolydian, you move from node five to node five. Aeolian, Aeolian, you move from node 6 to node 6, and Locrian, you move from node 7 to node 7, and then you've covered all of your scales, okay? Now, this is applicable to all keys. This is applicable to all keys. Let me do it in the key of F sharp. Right, F sharp major scale or D flat, you know, depending on how you want to look at it. I mean, G flat, sorry. Yeah, so I'm moving from note one to note one, or from the first degree to the first degree, as the professionals would like it. It's important to add the stuff, otherwise, people start chewing you up in the comments. Right, if I move from the from note two to note two, what is note two? Note 2 is A flat, right? So if I move from A flat to A flat using those same notes, right, then I'd get my Dorian scale, A flat Dorian scale. What's the third scale? The third scale is when you move from 3 to 3, right? Or from the third degree to the third degree. And in this case, we're moving from B flat to B flat, right? Using the same notes of the G flat major scale, right? And then. What's the fourth note? It's B, right? Our B, our fourth scale is always the Lydian, right? So Lydian scale, so we move from B to B or from the fourth degree to the fourth degree, note four to note four. Right? No problem. Now we move, our next note is D flat or C sharp, right? which is our fifth degree or from note five to note five our mixolydian scale so it's going to be a d-flat mixolydian scale oh sorry another thing i need to revisit is my scales it's been a while yeah now we move from note six to note six or from the sixth degree to the sixth degree e-flat to e-flat About E flat or our D sharp Aeolian, depending on what you choose to call it. it will probably be E flat because it's a G flat key, but it's all good. And the last one is our F, which is our seventh note. So we're moving from seven to seven, seventh degree to seventh degree. We're moving from F to F, right? This is our F Locrian scale. All right, okay. Uh, okay, let me do one more example. Okay, we've done a flat key. Let's do a sharp key. Let's do a sharp key. Okay, let's do E. All right, yeah, let's do E. That sounds good. All right, E major scale. All right. So when you move from one to one, from the first degree to the first degree, from E to E, that is our Ionian scale. Ionian scale. Yeah, some people mess it up and say onion, but it's okay. This is not our language. It never loved us. Right. Now we're looking for the second scale in this, right? Or the second mode. The second mode is going to be, right? It's going to start on F sharp, right? So we're going to play. Because we're playing from F sharp to F sharp, we're playing from note two to note two, we're playing from degree two to degree two, right? Right, what's our third note? A flat or G sharp, right? But it uh, should be G sharp because this is a sharp key. Right, um, same thing, note three to note three, third degree to third degree, G sharp to G sharp. Right, now we move from note A to note A. 
fourth degree to fourth degree node four to node four you know this is our Lydian scale so it's going to be a Lydian right okay note five to note five b to b degree five to degree five right this is our b mixolydian scale now what am i doing yeah there we go right now we move from note six to note six degree t degree six to degree six uh c sharp to c sharp right that's going to be our c sharp aeolian scale all right all right and then okay nice then our last scale is our we're moving from note seven to note seven and degree seven to degree seven from d sharp to d sharp right this is our d sharp or d sharp because we're in a sharp key you know or e flat um uh, locrian scale All right sounds great All right then now i've shown you how to formulate those scales in in three keys you know in a neutral key which is c in a flat key you know which is g flat and in e which is a sharp key right so you should be able to get the concept now and translate it to all other keys though i'll try to kind of like put together the scales for you in all the keys when i can all right okay